everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be taking you through Variant 7, Chapter 3, Quest Number 1. All right, so this is a new chapter. This chapter, you can only bring in Cosmic and Science Champions. Now, there is a further global node where you could bring in non-hero champions, but if you fight with them, you're going to face a 95% reduction in your damage. It's not a good time. So you basically want to choose science, cosmic, heroes. You can bring in non-heroes for synergy purposes, but don't try to fight with them. All right, so I'm going through the nodes here, and I came to this path here. Psychic Thorns and Life Transfer. Once I saw that one, I was like, okay, you know what? Let's just see what the other ones are. But we pretty much know we're going back to the life transfer. Anytime I see life transfer, generally, that is the easiest path. It's not always true. I cannot remember a time where it hasn't been true. But life transfer is generally the easiest path. It's always been as far as I can remember. All right, so we're gonna be taking that path. Don't worry about the psychic thorns. Yes, you'll take some damage but the life transfer more than makes up for it. Uh, life transfer also gives you a degen, so as long as you are fighting aggressively, you're great. Now, also on this path, you wanna choose a cosmic champion because they get a uh, permanent fury uh, or their damage is, is uh, increased, if I remember correctly, all right? So I chose to bring in Hyperion, who already does a lot of damage. Now, I am running suicides. Hyperion is poison immune. So at the beginning of every fight, I'm going to degen because of the double edge mastery, which puts a bleed debuff on me. However, because of the life transfer, I heal it right back up. So it is a beautiful path, uh, especially if you're running suicide, because you're gonna heal it all the way back up as long as you are aggressive. And as you can see here, you know, we've got almost a full uh, yellow bar here. And just look at this. My health stayed up there. Just gotta be aggressive. And you can do this fight um, with pretty much anyone. If you don't have a really powerful uh, science or a powerful cosmic, you can bring in uh, almost anyone and they should be able to handle this path uh, pretty easily. All right. Now, this fight here, I was looking at him and I know what happens. I know what happens. I will parry him, go for the heavy. He will evade out of the middle of my heavy and attack me. All right. So in my mind, before I started the fight, I'm like, okay, don't parry heavy him. Don't parry heavy him. So you see here, I'm spamming the uh, special one there. All right. That works out great. Normally I wouldn't do that because I'm running suicides and I would take a lot of recall damage, but we are dealing with life transfer. So I'm getting all that health right back. You know, the little health that I lost because of uh, the recall damage, doesn't matter, getting it right back. You can see here, I'm uh, almost at full health. All right, and there we go. All right, he's stunned and boom, okay? Uh, I have parry heavied him in the past, and he almost always evades out of it and then wrecks me. All right? So, yep, you can see what's happening. Alliance quest. And uh, I had to finish this one pretty quickly so I can get to Alliance quest. But we're also trying to do this itemless. All right? No healing, no revives. So, so far, we have been able to do that in... Uh, this variant seven. Now, when I explore, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Some of the paths might be a little bit uh, trickier and may end up eating up a revive or two. Who knows? All right. But with um, Medusa here, once she has three Furies, she's going to do that auto block as long as she has the three Furies. But that's fine because with Hyperion especially, you're gonna wanna do heavy attacks for the most part, okay? You see that I don't want her to even finish that animation. 
All right, there we go. Bait out that special two, which can definitely wreck you. All right, and then her furies have dropped off. So we're good now. She's got that stun. So I went in for the heavy, build up my furies, get out of the way of that special two. You can see I'm only hitting her once. All right, and then I hit the special and she auto blocked it. Very annoying, but it took away those uh, furies. But thanks to life transfer, we're back up to full health and we finished the fight with full health. This is why I say this is the easiest path. And as far as I can remember, every time I've had to deal with life transfer, it's been the easiest path of the other options. Um, not that there's not other easy options. You wanna take a look at these paths and choose which one looks the easiest for you to deal with with your roster. All right, but for the initial clear, I think for most people, uh, it's gonna be this path. You can even bring in a four star and you should do just fine. All right, so uh, Hyperion or Hyperion, as Darky Diggity Dave would say, um, is just wrecking this path. Uh, he was definitely my MVP for this path. He might be my MVP for some others. Uh, I did see some that um, I think were science uh, wrath. So perhaps I'll bring in a powerful science champion. I saw one that looked like it was made for wasp. Uh, the It had, I think, either science wrath, but it had a crit me with your best shot. That is wasp all day, every day. Okay. Um, she can get those guaranteed crits. So when I do finally explore this, I'm gonna take that path with Wasp for the most part. And I just so happen to have a six star rank three Wasp. So she's gonna do a lot of damage. Now I'll bring in other uh, champs, but with the crit me node, it could be a, a rough time for anyone that doesn't uh, have guaranteed crits. So we'll see when I get there. But as you can see here, I'm just manhandling this uh, war machine. All right, um, here we go, the final, and he's down and my health is looking good. All right, so uh, another, another one bites the dust and we're gonna fight Magneto. Now, something that I found, and I don't know, they did this and I love the rework that they did for Magneto. But it seemed like every time I face Magneto, I end up with only metal champions on my team. All right. But in this case, he's not hashtag metal. So Hyperion, once again, is the GOAT for this path. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I don't know who else is uh, not metal that was on my team. Uh, Thing, I know he is not metal but I have not memorized all of the champs that are now hashtag metal because Kabam went through and added some hashtag metal to a lot of champions. And it makes Magneto in the game, really the Omega mutant that he, that he is. You know, he is, that, that rework is definitely one of their better reworks. He is now a top mutant. I have him as a six star. I took him to rank two. Uh, and I don't know if I'll take him to rank three unawakened. But if I do get him duped, I'll probably take him to rank three eventually. Um, I have a couple of others that I could take to rank three. Um, but I might. I might do that with uh, Magneto. That's how good he is now. Uh, but we didn't have any problem. You see that revive off to the side there? I could have gone and taken that path, but I don't really need revives that bad currently. And I wanted to do the easy path for the video. All right. Uh, and I, and I didn't have a whole lot of, um, uh, energy to, to use up. All right. So you can see what we're dealing with here. This venom, if you've used, uh, or taken one of the, I can't remember which variant it is. Uh, but one of the earlier variants, I never remember the numbers of the variants. Uh, this Venom is very reminiscent of that one. All right. You want to, if, if you can't evade his special two, 
Uh, you'll probably have a harder time. You want to bring in a champion that maybe can stun him. Otherwise, he's going to eat up your items. All right. Uh, I was able to bait out a special one here. And so I wanted to fire off that special three. But one of the problems with Venom is the AI fluctuates. Sometimes you get an AI that loves to throw their specials. Other times, the AI doesn't want to throw the special. All right. Like, see right here? He threw his special one. Great. All right. All right. And so here, I'm like, all right. I feel him myself. I'm like, let's see if I can do that special too. All right, which is unblockable. All right, there we go. Yeah, evaded that special too. All right, now I didn't see anybody say anything, but I think that the special two is a little bit easier these days. So here I'm going for a stun lock. I just wanna see how much damage I can do. All right, we got these stuns. Uh, we've got all these heroes on our team. We can do this. Look at the damage. Boom. He's still stunned. All right. Let's keep going. All right. Trying to delay it a little bit. Boom. Another special two. Boom. Stun. Get that heavy in. All right. And uh-oh. Stun is about to go. And yeah. We ran out of stun. I was trying to get to that special two. Couldn't do it. And But look at what we did. So uh, at this time... I'm like, okay, I know I want to do this itemless. I have my entire team to throw at this guy, and he's almost gone. So you know what? It's time to have a little bit of fun. All right? Not not just take him out right away. Um, but hopefully you guys see uh, how easy it is to uh, deal with this Venom if you can evade that special two. Bait the special one. Bait the special two. Wreck him. OK, uh, I have not played with uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider a lot, which is why I brought him in here. OK, and then, boom, I get caught and I'm just like, OK, I just evaded the special two. I bring in Cosmic Ghost Rider for a little bit of fun and get wrecked the first special two he uh, throws. So right after I finish going, yeah. It's going to be easy. You can just bait out the special one, bait out the special two, evade it. Yeah. You want to uh, avoid the special two if you can. It's unblockable. And unless you have it right down packed, you saw what can happen to you. All right. I didn't even get a chance because um, he has like a bleed, a chance to bleed. It was just straight damage that he took me out. I didn't even need to uh, worry about the bleed or anything. All right. But I was feeling cheeky, and that's why you see me, uh, something about me, uh, if it's a, a special that I'm trying to practice, I'm going to keep doing it, okay? See, like here, and then I got caught. But Thing has that protection. I love Thing. Thing is a beast, all right? So I already know I can beat this guy, right? So I'm parrying to build up my rock charges, and I want to try and get another special two evade okay there we go all right so that's something about me if i'm practicing the uh, and evading a special and i get caught by the special then i want to push them to that special so i can get more practice in and i wasn't in any danger of not being able to fight this guy and beat him itemless so why not practice a little bit that special two and I don't remember what patch it was, but the special two is easier now to evade. It's not just me learning it a little bit better. I think uh, the animation slightly changed. I, I didn't see anybody talk about it, but that initial one seemed to change a little bit. And his tentacles didn't come out quite as quickly as they did before. So you had a little bit more time to evade that first part. Uh, but it could, I could be wrong, and I might just, you know, be noticing that now, and I'm just better at evading it. I don't know. But I, I thought there was a change. Um, and I remember uh, somewhat when at least I noticed it. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hopefully this helps you guys out when you do your initial clear. Uh, take care. Don't forget to hit the like button. It really helps me out. Leave a comment. That also helps me out. Like and comment. Uh, uh, YouTube looks at that and gives you some 
nice things uh, when you have a lot of comments and a lot of likes on your videos. They promote it a lot more. All right. So take care and you all have a blessed day.